Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm gonna teach you a few things. I'm gonna teach you how to become rich in Eve Echoes. I'm gonna walk you through the process of beginning to finish on becoming rich in Eve Echoes. I'm also going to teach you how to make money while you're not even online, meaning you can be offline and you're still gaining profits. I'm gonna teach you what me and the WellPod Alliance, both of my corporations, what we're actively investing all of our very high 20% tax into. And I'm gonna give you all of the information I have and why I believe that if you watch this video, I can guarantee in a month you're gonna be rich in Eve Echoes. So with that being said, Please do subscribe if you're not subscribed already. As you can see up here, about 60% of the people who watch my videos every single day aren't subscribed. So it's very difficult for YouTube to do a good job of recommending these tutorial videos to you. If you're subscribed, you'll find the next one easier. With that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the video and thank you for watching. I'm gonna do the very best I can to break down uh, an admittedly rather complicated investment strategy into a very simple one. Now, in order to understand why exactly we're doing what we're doing, you need to understand one thing first, which is exactly the way that alpha clones work. If you're not familiar with an alpha clone, there is alpha and omega clones. Alpha clones, you can see their limitations here. They have limited access to the market when it comes to trading. They're prohibited from the contract function. Uh, there's a whole variety of things here. However, this one's important too for the purposes of what we're doing. Alpha clones have a training speed of 30 points a minute. The default free skill points for production without training skills at 50% speed. Alpha clones may allocate these points upon logging on. The pre-store limit is about a few days worth. So what does this mean? This means they train slower which means they're hitting the tech levels slower than the other people as tech levels are dictated by maximum amounts of skill points, basically. So it's 30 points a minute. We can calculate that out to about 1800 points an hour. We can calculate that out again to about 1.8 million every thousand hours, okay? And then if we look here exactly how many skill points we're gonna need, if we go to skills inside the actual game, and this is where you gotta follow me, okay? We're talking about skill points with alphas here. You see here, current tech level, if we wanted to go to tech level seven, it's 5.62 million, and I believe tech eight is uh, almost double that, if not a little bit higher, so it, it's quite a bit above that. Um, and the long and short of it is it's going to be a while until everybody is tech level eight as an alpha clone. Why is this important? And why are we talking about tech levels and alpha clone training speed? Why does this have anything to do with investing DM? Well, here's the strategy that I want to share with you guys today. If you guys are familiar with how alphas work, you can become an Omega clone by purchasing straight Plex. So if you go here to the store, right? And you can see there's these Omega dual bundles and all that. You can purchase your own with your flat money. But if you want to play free to play and still become an Omega, that is possible, but you have to buy it with Plex. So you see here, we have a certain amount of Plex, purchase Omega clone. When you go to purchase the Omega clone, this pops up and it says, look, 500 Plex, you can get yourself a dual bundle. Here's how much you have left. Now, this is where our investment strategy really starts to, to play in. If we do the math here, we can see that alpha clones are going to be hitting tech level eight, about half as fast as people in Omega, which means when we hit tech level eight, okay, in twice that time, you can expect alpha clones to hit tech level eight. What's gonna happen when they hit tech level eight, okay? Well, if we think about it this way, a ton of people are going to need Plex at that time. In fact, the entire alpha universe that started is going to need Plex at the same time. If you're very familiar with the way Plex works, when you buy and sell it on the market, you can purely buy and sell it for ISK. Keep in mind all the fees and everything are standard there. When we started the game, ISK or Plex was 7,000 ISK each. It is now in the 30,000 range after a couple of weeks, and there's nothing yet going on that would require a massive influx of Plex purchasing. Keep in mind, ISK is harder to get in the beginning of the game as we're all still in lower tier ships, making lower money, ratting, lower money, doing everything that's being generated. The money doesn't come from nowhere. 
comes from the NPCs in the game itself. It has to it has to come in and then go back out in a cash sink. That's the balance of the economy, right? So the alpha clones are slowly out making money at a slower rate than the omegas and they're saving it up to purchase omega as that's the best thing they could do with their money is purchase an upgrade for their account. Now this is where the us exploiting this feature is going to come in and how everybody in my alliance is currently donating into the corporation. If we go with the corporation wallet here, you can see there's 60 million plex. So what I do in here is I go and pow, we withdraw it all. Now there's gonna be a lockdown of two hours, so I can't do this now. But what I would do with this 60 million plex then is I'm purely gonna go in the wallet. I'm gonna purchase with ISK and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna buy the cheapest one. In fact, yesterday, the cheapest one I could get was 32,000, but now it's 37 in this region, right? And you can buy it elsewhere, but Plex you can get from anywhere, even while flying when you're in Omega. So you're like, well, you don't need to pick it up. See, it doesn't require shipping, goes to your account directly after purchase. So as I have 14 million here for the sake of this video, I'll just buy 100. I'm gonna buy 100 Plex for 3.7 million. And now, when all those Alpha clones hit tech level eight, and we scroll up here, and I'm gonna show you this once again here with, with uh, the display capture. Check this out. We scroll up to their post. Alpha clones are denied access to ships of tech level eight and above. However, they can access several pirate cruisers and some special ships for the exact access list. Please refer to the ship tree chart. So there's two things here. One of which is we need to invest in Plex and buy as much Plex as we can now, because again, like I'm saying, when they hit tech level eight, everyone in order to get into new ships are going to need Plex. It is a forced, it is a forced basically market manipulation of forcing alpha people to become Omega if they want to continue the game. That is gonna happen at a certain point. There's a bar there. And as all the alphas are piling up to that bar, that Plex price is gonna go higher. Plus all these corporations, such as my corporation, knows all of this information already. And so what they're going to be doing is purchasing Plex as well. So if you wanna know the long and short of it, the long and short of it really is this simple. If you want to become rich in EVE Echoes, what you need to do is play the game standard, buy Omega now, do everything you can to get the boost now, okay? Keep going, farm your ISK, get you do your mining and sell it whatever you can get all the isk you can and purchase as much plex as you possibly can and resell it when it spikes through the roof here in probably about a month or two okay keep that in mind so that's what i'm doing i mean you could see there we have seven thousand plex that's from the corporation just sitting on it i'm putting my own money into it too and we're just mashing it all together and i'm going to be reselling and reflipping it and I'll be able to become a billionaire there's also something else to keep in mind which is another flip which is that if you look here however they have access to several pirate cruisers and some special ships for exact list please refer to the ship tree chart which then if you wonder what the ship tree chart actually is you can see it in game itself if you go here and you go pow ship tree right here okay you can actually look through in the ship tree chart look through these and see which ones are available to alpha which ones are not available to alpha uh, pretty much that simple, okay? And for that reason, another investment is you could actually pick up as many of the alpha boat ships as possible for the people that are are gonna play free to play basically and get the best ship they can within alpha. You could pick up those as soon as they start you know, showing up and then selling them later. But keep in mind that flip is harder because the inflow of ships being produced and everything will increase over time, whereas the Plex coming into the game isn't really gonna increase unless people are flat out buying it with their real life money. And in the beginning, people are buying in their real life money to get a boost because most of the new players are, you know, are starting out like, yeah, I like this game, I'll spend 20 bucks to get a ship or whatever before they realize kind of how the game works. So there's a lot of like cheap Plex going into the game now, which will dry up and those ships will be more common so that's not as good flip. Really the best flip when it comes down to is you wanna put all of your money in the Plex, every penny you can, um, except for the stuff that you need for what you're doing, and then just sit on it. You're just gonna straight sit on it, and as soon as it spikes up, you're gonna sell it, 
And then you, you know, drop back down um, after that point when the alphas go, go up for a bit, you can buy and then you can buy the dip and then it'll keep going up. But keep in mind, and this is proved also in EVE Online. EVE Online, the Plex has gone to billions over time. Um, you know, it started low as well and it only goes up. It's the only product that's only gonna go up because one, it's the only product people can buy and sell from anywhere. And it's also the only product that can transfer from real life value to, to in-game value. And for that reason, it's actually tied to the real life value as as well, so it's fairly stable. So that being said, go out, buy yourself some Plex. Um, I appreciate you guys supporting this video by subscribing. And if you would like, I have my Discord pinned in the comments and description as well, where you can click there, join the Discord for more updated information and my live streams. I'm gonna go live now at twitch.tv slash microtransactions. So I'll see you there. And thanks for watching this video. I love y'all.